Hey, this is Eggcall16 here, and I've decided to do a walkthrough for two reasons. Um, one, I want to do a walkthrough because it looks fun, and two, my friend Keenan asked me to. So, yeah, I'm going to do Diamond because it's my first DS Pokemon game. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm starting off. Yes, yeah, summer boy. So, I'm going to write my name in incredibly fast, and it is Zachary because that is awesome. And, yeah, so he says my name... And then he shows me my friend, which has blonde hair, and I'm gonna choose new name. And in, in incredible speed, go right, Chris, because you know he's my blonde-haired friend. Anyway, so he's just gonna talk a while, and be boring, and talk about the world of Pokémon, and just blabber on for a while. And then I'm gonna get like shrunk with a sh shrink ray, and then shoved into a truck. Not really, because that's Hoenn region. Anyway, so I'm watching this TV, reading it, boring, about a red Gyarados, which is in Johto. So, yeah, I'm going to just read that quickly, and then I'm going to warp. And there you go, warps. Okay, and I'm going to walk down the stairs, and I'm going to talk to my mum, because she's going to walk over to me with an exclamation mark over her head. So she's saying that Chris came looking for me before, so I'm gonna go have to go find him, otherwise Chris will get pissed off with me. So I go walk out the house, but before I walk out, Mum tells me not to go into the grass because grass has scary stuff in it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna walk up the road and go to this house because it's a Chris house, and then he just runs into me. Thud! Wow, that is like the biggest text you see in the game. Thud. Yeah, this is probably going to be the boringest episode because the first episode nothing really happens except for like a battle, one battle that I showed. Yeah, spoiler alert. Um, yeah, so I'm going to walk upstairs because that's what I can do. Walk upstairs. So then Chris is going to um, just be talking to himself and then I walk up and he's saying I was late and he's going to um, charge me 10 million dollars if I'm late. So, yeah, I want that 10 million dollars for myself, thank you, so I will not be late. So I walk out the door and, you know, just play the game normally. You know, what else can you do when you don't want to walk through? Yeah, so I walk up to Chris. And he says that he saw the news and he wants to go see the Red Gyarados. So even though it's in Johto, we're going to go look for it anyway. Because we can. Because, you know, it's Zack and Chris. And we're just that awesome. So we're going to walk up to the lakefront because that's what we can do. Walk up to the leg front. So then he takes me into the forest. So yeah. So anyway, there's these two strangers up there, which is like strange danger all over again. And um, yeah, so they're just talking randomly about not finding the red Gyarados. And yeah, they're just gonna decide to leave in about three, two, one. Bye bye, Rowan and Dawn. That's right. I'm a psychic and I know their name. Even though I've already played the game. Um, anyway, so me and uh, Chris is going to walk randomly walk up and steal their stuff from that little cool briefcase over there. Wow, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, ah, shut up, Chris. Okay, so walk over to the briefcase and... Oh my god. Here it comes. The first actual real Pokemon you get to see in 3D. That the only ones that actually come up and challenge you. Like, while you are standing still. So, I'm not going to choose Turtwig or Chimchar because I've chosen them before. I'm going to go with Piplup for Keenan because he's obsessed with Piplups. So, yeah, I'm going to go into the cool battle seed which has been around for about three years now because I'm making this walkthrough three years late. So, I send out Piplup because that's what I chose, obviously, and, um,. Yeah, this is the only um, full battle I'll probably be showing for the whole thing. I don't know, I might show full battles later. Probably through the Elite Four, whatever. But yeah, I thought I'd show this one because it's kind of important because it's the first one in Diamond. So yeah. So I didn't really need to explain what was happening here. You could probably read it unless you're like blind. But hell, if you're blind, what are you watching my videos for? Uh, no offense. So yeah, get some experience points. Fwa. He said Fwa. Who says Fwa? Oh well, so up comes Dawn because she's all Dawny and stuff and um says that we used um 
his Pokemon and he's gonna be angry at us, so yeah, she took the briefcase and ran away with it. So Chris is like, what should we do? I'm like, we should probably return those Pokemon. He's like, nah, let's use them more. And I'm like, nah, we're taking them home. So we go out of the forest, the lakefront thing, and um, yeah, he's in front of me because he wants to be. Ah, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Um, so we're walking along next to some trees. Has anyone noticed these trees look identical? Anyway, so Chris gets an imag um, imaginary exclamation mark above his head and um, Professor Rowan walks up because I can say Professor really fast. Yeah. So then he runs off and then Dawn looks at us and then runs off and then we just talk for a bit and then I magically walk back to my house because I can. You know, because I can magically walk whenever I want because I'm just that cool. So, talking to mom, she can't believe what happened, I don't know, well, how can you not believe it, it's like, you know, there's Pokemon all around us, how can you not believe that that happened, oh well, so, yada yada yada, she gives me running shoes, because, you know, you can't run without these running shoes, you know, if you tried running, the game would just, like, explode if you did not have the running shoes, you know, you just, it just wouldn't happen, you know, you just can't do it, so, yeah, I get the running shoes, and I'm, like, walking, and I'm, like, wait a minute, why am I walking? So then I start randomly running. And then I go into some grass to get to the place. And, ah, oh, Pokemon Battle. But I skipped it because it was just a Pid, um, not a Pidgey, a Starly. And, ah, oh, Pokemon Battle. But I skipped it again. So, yeah, because I needed to save time. Because I really nearly went over the um, limit here. So, Dawn comes over talking to me. It's like, shut up, Dawn. You're like, yeah, all you do is um, talk and THUD again. Uh, yeah, so I get run into by Chris because he's all Speedy Gonzales and everything, and then he runs off, and yeah. So then I go into the building, Strange Danger Much, um, walk up, up, up with Dawn, and then talk to Rowan. Here, I love this part here. Hmm, I see. I'll give you this pip up. What would you like to name it? I don't know why I didn't speed this up, like, I sped up everything else. But, well, like, cut it. I cut everything else, but I did not cut name. Like, I did not cut naming Piplup. The tongue twisted. Okay, so I named it Skipper because you know that's what Keenan would have wanted. So yeah, I got Skipper the the Piplup. So yeah, just randomly talking, and Dawn looks at me and says, "She's so glad." Oh, thank you. Then the music changes to some missiony kind of thing. Oh, we're on a mission. So, we live in the Sinnoh region, he says. He wants me to complete the Pokedex, so he entrusted me with it. Will I record data for it? No, I will not. He can stand here speaking, rah, 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 whatever. He entrusted me with it. He asked me it again. I said yes, because I don't have a choice. He goes, good answer. Good answer. Because, you know, I, I can't choose no. It's just... He'll ask me it again, and then if I choose yes, it's a good answer. All of a sudden. Oh, well. So yeah, he's 60 years old and he hasn't completed this Pokedex, so yeah, we gotta do it for him, because he's lazy. <clears throat> so she got a Chimcha, Chris got a Turtwig, because Chris is just, like loves Grass-type Pokemon, and that's awesome that way. So then Dawn runs off, actually I'm gonna be calling Dawn Gemma, because Gemma's cool. So Gemma runs off, and there's Gemma, so Gemma's talking. Because she can, then she shows me the Pokemon Center because that is where I'll be healing my Pokemon. Well, you won't see it very often because I'll probably just walk there and then walk back. And that's the Pokemon. I'll probably show you me buying stuff from there because you know I just can. So she gets an imaginary exclamation mark above her head and then starts talking randomly. So yeah, she's gonna um, run off. So bye, Gemma. Goodbye. Tell me to go to my house. Oh well. So thanks for watching the first episode, I'm going to save inc incredibly fast and then I'll see you for part 2 of um, Zeg Cole 16's walkthrough of Pokemon Diamond. Thanks again and uh, continue watching the videos. Oh yeah, by the way, Skipper leveled up on the way here, but I cut that part because I'm mean. Yeah, so what to say now? Oh yeah, I'll be getting two Pokemon that aren't, that you cannot catch in this game, so that'll be cool. Anyway, bye guys, because I'm running out of time. See ya!